Smoke a purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. Y'all know what the fuck we doing, man. It's Hot Thoughts TV. Niggas hot in the beach, man. I'm smoking a purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. Question. Do you feel like, as a black culture, that people are more mad at Deion Sanders than they are Brett Favre right now? You can't even compare the two. But you can compare the two. And that's the fucked up part. Yes. Because one thing about Deion Sanders when nobody noticed at the game, when they were presenting the trophy, he told his girlfriend and his wife to get off stage. He was rushing them. Prime, don't get mad. I love you for your actions. But you was a, a opportunist. True legends, like, the reason why we praise Kobe Bryant, because he stuck it out with a team to the very end. When he lost, he lost. When he won, he won. But Deion Sanders went team to team. He played for the Atlanta Falcons. He played for the Dallas Cowboys. He played for the Washington Redskins. He played for the Baltimore Ravens. But the last, the Baltimore Ravens, that's what's trying to be his redemption showing that he can play. I feel like this, like I said the other day on our live. He is a person, one, that from his Texas career, when he um, coached them boys at their high school, at their, um, their private school, at their private school, he got a good collegiate situation with athletes. But I'm thinking it's going to his head now. And just like I said, I hope that he have the right intentions with them kids. So, when you look at who you compared to again? The Brett Favre situation. Brett Favre was an outright thief. He lied, got some money to live luxury. Deion Sanders. I just talked about his personal business, but I feel like Deion Sanders tried to put black boys from where he from at a collegiate level and to articulate, to let them know that it's okay to go to college and better themselves. So, I don't see the money. I see that Deion Sanders try to turn out as many student athletes as possible. Because you a student, then you an athlete. So, one thing about him, that's cool. And he did a wonderful job with Travis Hunt. If people don't know who Travis Hunt is, y'all gonna know who Travis Hunt is soon. He's an awesome kid, awesome athlete, and Travis Hunt loved that man. So, when you take a kid like Travis Hunt from where he's from, and to put him in an arena to one, show him love. Two, be a, a father figure to Travis Hunt. So just like I said, I probably don't like Deion Sanders' personal business, but what he do as a black mentor and as a black father figure that guys look up to, because Deion Sanders probably the only father figure that these boys ever had. That's the most beautiful thing ever. So you can never compare Prime time to Brett Favre. So, um, what are your thoughts on the Jerry Jones situation? I feel like Jerry Jones, bro, was at an era of time when he was programmed to look at life one way. But as his life started to expand and as his wealth started to get bigger, the ideal of the world changed. Dallas, the Dallas Cowboy team have a lot of black people have a black staff, to have a couple of black people on their staff. Jerry Jones just grew up in a time where they thought that shit was cool and everybody make a mistake. So I don't feel like people should judge Jerry Jones over something when he was in the era of time. If he would have act like he or pretended like he liked a black person, he could have died. That is a set of life that we can't even talk about because we not in that era no more. Long as he's not being a dictator like that now, long as he don't feel that way now, you can't judge Jerry Jones for a mistake that he made. People want to make permanent judgment on temporary mistakes, and you can't do that. So I'm not de definitely. I never was a Cowboys fan because I think the Cowboys is the most hated team in America. But one thing about him, I, I, what I know is about Jerry Jones, he stick by his players. He stick by them. Quincy Carter was a quarterback for him. Emmy Smith was a running back for him. Michael Irvin played for him. Damn, even Deion Sanders played for him. So how can you even say, and look where Deion at now. 
Jerry Jones didn't contribute to that? He did. He did. So when he got on there and he said what he said, even if he is, he was stuck in a time where his parents was raising him to be like that. So, no, we can't even judge Jerry Jones, bro. I'm not even mad at Jerry Jones, bro. It's more people that we should be upset with than Jerry Jones. 